we're looking at one of many gorgeous pieces of art here on the walls at the Rent Peru Tea Room. Joining me now, acrylic and watercolor artist Frank Harper. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. Good, you? enjoying a spot oh, yeah. of tea. Absolutely, from these lovely ladies. Uh, that's a nice cup of tea. And it's uh, all part of the tea and art experience that will be running every weekday from 2 until 4 p.m. here right. at the Renfrew Tea Room yep. until December 21st. Yeah. Now, there are 22 different artists that are involved in this initiative. And during that two-hour period, each day there will be a different artist yep. here displaying the artwork and uh, chatting about it and all of the proceeds uh, or a portion of the proceeds from the artwork and from the scones and homemade jelly that are, yep. are uh, sold will go towards the uh, Renfrew Seniors Home Support, That's right. yep. which is great. Absolutely. Now, we are fortunate today because we get to talk to you about some of uh, your artwork. Let's, uh, let's start with this one here. You and I were talking what about your one? background. Yep. And for 26 years, you were in the British Army. Yep. How has that inspired your uh, paintings? Well, of course, I, I, I served all over the world. Mm -hmm. um, I went in as a private, came out as a captain, and served all over the world, basically, or in lots of different parts of the world. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the big influences was I was in Malaya and Hong Kong. I did a tour in Malaya and a tour in Hong Kong. Um, and if you look at this blue one here, the rickshaw puller. I love this uh, one. That, that uh, is typically Hong Kong, of course, mm -hmm. is the, the rickshaw puller. Um, interestingly, the one down here on the left, the red guy with the blue hat. That ended up being Mexican. <laughs> which is Mexican. <laughs> actually started out with the idea that it was going to be a Chinese guy, be yeah. sitting down leaning against the wall. But sometimes the, uh, the picture takes on a bit of a life of its own, mm -hmm. and the idea gets away from you. It shouldn't. That's not supposed to happen if you've got uh, control over what you're doing, well, I guess. Are there any rules really but in art? Uh, well, there are some that you break at your at your peril, mm -hmm. um, but I think you can you can break the rules. I think you can. Mm -hmm. um, when I say rules, there are ideas that um, things should be in a certain part. If you want to direct people's attention to a certain part of the painting, mm -hmm. there's a sort of rule of thirds. It's called. It should be the centre of interest should be approximately a third in and a third up in the painting. And if you've got uh, a face in the painting, it really ought to be looking into the painting rather than out. Various, various things. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can break all those rules, all of them, if you want. But I think it's interesting to do that if you know the rule that you're breaking. Right. Uh, and when you're working with watercolour, like the first one that we looked at, mm -hmm. uh, there are certain things you look at books on watercolour, they'll tell you there are certain things, oh, don't do this because you get back runs and you'll get all sorts of things. Well, back runs, I've actually used, uh, there aren't any in here today, but I've used, well, yeah, there's actually one up there mm -hmm. when I've used back runs yeah. to produce the shapes that I want. So we're, we're looking at uh, watercolors of, of people and our acrylics of people, but you've also sort of dabbled in landscapes as well. Do you have a preference, people or landscapes? Um, people. I Why? Think. People, I think. I don't know, well, uh, I don't know really, but you can express... I think I think they're stronger. Mm -hmm. it, you can express a stronger image, I think, like the, those two there in particular. Um, I like those because they're nice, strong images. Yeah. Um, my people, when I put them in, they tend to be a bit stylized, rather than you know real production. They're, they're, they're stylized. And they're making it, mm -hmm. uh, a picture that way. They make a, a, a statement that way. Um, the landscape up there and the seascapes here. Mm -hmm. um, the seascapes, that's from a place where I used to live when the, um, before I came here. Mm -hmm. The uh, Isle of Wight? On the Isle of Wight, which mm -hmm. is a little island off the uh, south coast of England. And it's 23 miles long and 13 miles wide, so you're never very far from the sea. So you know? there's always a story behind mm -hmm. every single one of your paintings. And if people want to pick your brain, they can come on December 17th. And uh, 21st. That's right. And well uh, well Frank done. will be <laughs> here between 2 to 4 p.m. And again, a portion of the proceeds from every one of the paintings sold will go towards uh, the seniors' home support for the Renfrew that's area. Right. So come yes. on down to the Renfrew Tea Room uh, any weekday until December 21st.